A lorry appeared unexpectedly in our soy, offering us free food. All the residents in our street have evacuated, except for us, and a handful in the apartment further down. It's actually quite touching to get these kind of food parcels, and it's the kind of thing that goes on in Muban's etiquette day after day. I think uh, no, no, no problem for you here. The family of the owners of Tarn, a neighbour's dog opposite, came to see how she was doing and Quan had the opportunity to discuss the situation with them. They were happy to give Quan the bags of dog food they'd brought with them and were relieved she told them she didn't mind looking after Tarn for them. Local residents are accepting the food parcels and bottled water when and where they can get them and stock up with the other things they need at Big C. They get there and back either on foot, wading through the water or with improvised rafts and boats. Some residents prefer to be independent and some actually enjoy the exercise they get pulling rafts against the resistance of water. I felt myself this wading in water was probably an excellent leg strengthening exercise. One shop in Muban is open. It sells beer and Thai snacks and other basic things like soap and shampoo and is doing quite well at this time. The market in Muban is gradually springing back to life again. The flooding there has been minimal and 7-Eleven is back open again after being closed for a week. Seven, as Thais call them, are very much a part of the heartbeat of Bangkok, so to see the doors open again is yet another promising sign of better days to come. A few pavement food sellers were busy cooking pork and chicken around seven. Quan and I had the opportunity to make a picnic in the canoe, which we parked on the pavement with the help of a few waves from passing trucks. The entrance is a good place to stay if you're interested in watching the world come and go. It's quite typical of Quan to start off buying herself something nice to eat, only to give it to the first dog she meets, such as this one. A local restaurant at the top of our soy was demolished last year as the owner wanted to sell the land. A few dogs that lived there got left behind on the resulting waste ground. This area is now badly flooded so they've moved to the SO petrol station nearby along with another white dog that's appeared in our area recently. Come on. We've tried to feed the dogs equally but it isn't that easy. The black dog tends to get all the food being dominant in the small pack. The new dog is understandably suspicious of us and getting near him with food isn't easy. He seems to have his patch of the garage forecourt and spends most of his time in the water. I'm sure they get fed by others too as it's a busy area and they're quite visible to passers-by. <laughs>